Mostly average adult clams, mostly average adult clams, mostly average adult clams, clams on a half shell. This was a weird way to start the video. It's National Clams on a Half Shell Day. And I came up with that joke and thought that that would be a fun way to start the video. Yes, welcome back to Day of the Day. I've got one day out of the way already, but there's a few more today. Because this is Day of the Day and there's Days of the Day every single fucking day. And most days there are quite a few. Or at least a few. Mostly there's only at least like three. There's been a couple, there's been like one, maybe two days so far that there's only been one on. But hey, the more there is, the more there is for me to talk about. So let's get into those days. That isn't the one I've already done. Start with one that changes annually. It's another one that just says, changes annually. That's not, that doesn't help me. Like with the relative ones, I can tell you, so you know, so if you're watching this on a, you know, a future year, you know that that's either been or is about to come. This is just changes annually, so I can't help you, but it's National Equal Pay Day, and yeah, no shit, we should have equal pay if we're doing the same work. That makes fucking sense. Whenever this company actually starts making money and I start having actual proper employees, instead of my mates occasionally helping me with things, I fully expect that my employees to still be my mates, there's just the differences in me actually paying them and them doing more work than just randomly appearing in the occasional video. Because there are other things I want to do than just this. Just haven't got to it. Things are still in planning phases, still trying to make decisions on what to do. I'm really fickle in that nature. But yeah, we should all be paid equally regardless of what we are, who we are, as long as we're doing the same work. You know? We, we used to live in weird times, and now we live in weird times but for completely different reasons. I was originally planning on having a mate back at the beginning of the month when I planned this month out. Was planning on having a major focus on the next next day of the day because today day is also National Tater Day, as in potatoes. And I like the idea of here's a bunch of different ways. Like here is as many ways I can think of in the small all allotted time I'm giving myself for today with the small amount of potatoes I bothered to buy. I can think to do with potatoes, just as a fun thing. Maybe get some people involved. Yeah, this was this shows how long ago it was. We weren't even considering a, qu a quarantine or lockdown. So, God, this has been a long month. <laughs> yeah, back at the end of last month, while I was planning this month, that was the idea. But between you know people not being available because people kind of help with that, uh, me being lazy and drawn out and worn out as fuck because everything is just so draining. I guess, or I guess I just, not, there is no real source of energy at the moment in, in anyone because everyone's just locked in and kind of perpetually half dead because it's basically perpetually Sunday. And Sunday is not the best day of the week and anyone who says so is objectively wrong. Because it's it's that day where you're like, I'm free but I also have to go back to work tomorrow if you're working a regular nine to five job. But, it's all, but even then it's like, what do I do? What do I do? Every day like that is for me, <laughs> that, like that is for me anyway, but it's even worse now, which is kind of awful because we're now not even got the thing of people coming and people going and people working and people being able to do whatever they want. They're very res we're all very restricted, so it's a massive Nigerian energy. I don't know where I started. Where did I start? What day am I? <laughs> day to day. Yeah. So I didn't end up doing that. That that the other reason was because it'd be a waste of resources, really. Though I'm not sure what this is going to do as far as farming concerns. Because that's thing, something we haven't thought of yet, is the agricultural impact. We've barely thought about the economical impact as a, uh, as a world climate. Agricultural impact is the next thing we should be thinking about because that, that might be a problem. I'm not saying it is a problem or it's going to be a problem, but it might be more of a problem than we think it's going to be. National Prom Day! <laughs> we had promposal day towards the beginning of the month, I believe. So logically, logic dictates that prom day had to come up at some point, and I am sorry. <laughs> I I would love to hear uh, stories from people if they are in their year of graduation and they were supposed to have a prom. If you have a story to share about what your school or place, your school or college or university or whatever has done instead because I think there's going to be some interesting stories there of whether or not, whether or not it is directly organized by the school or it's organized by your fellow classmates 
even if it's someone you've never talked to before, and they suddenly you suddenly get the thing that's like, we're doing this for prom, and you're like, okay, that seems that seems like it makes sense. I would be love love to hear interesting stories about that. And again, I am very much push. I very much push for discussion on this channel, and I feel like this should be a place where people should be op feel open to talk about things like this. National Bunsen Burners Day, a device that I've never quite understood even when we were using them regularly in high school. Why is high school the only place I have ever used a Bunsen burner? Because that seems like a really bad time to give pe access to pe people access to Bunsen burners. And God am I really glad that one of my roommates from second year university wasn't in my high school, because I can only imagine how awful he would have been with Bunsen burners, because he was a minor pyromaniac. It was hilarious and sometimes scary. I have all sorts of stories I could tell from, mo mostly from second year of uni. I have uni stories, uh, like everyone has, anyone who's been to university, regardless of how sh shut in they are, and I'm kind of shut in, I didn't go out. I literally managed to go the entire uh, span of uni without going out, really. The closest thing was I went out, what, I went out-ish one night to a bar because one of my mates when we went to the SU karaoke, we, during last year we were started going SU karaoke, and that ended, and there was another karaoke in town, and my mate was my mate basically just dragged us all there. That mate being Georgia, because <laughs> of course it was. And the funniest part was we were walking down the road, like down the road out from our uni, and she was just randomly singing the Venger Boys, you know, as you do. And finally, National Crayons Day, which kind of goes in a really weird way with the whole arson and Bunsen burner day. <laughs> that's not, that's a bad thing to say, isn't it? But yeah, that kinda works. That's kinda scary that that works. It's not, I swear that's not intended. I very much doubt that's it. If that's intended, we have a completely different issue here. But I very much doubt that that's intended. But I, I literally just thought about that. That's awful. Oh God. It was. It wasn't wax. I don't think. I think it was. I think it was actually melted plastic, which was worst. Because fuck it, this is uni. The uni story. We're gonna have uni stories today. Uh, that that mate, that I, that roommate I had, which was a pyromaniac, just casually melted some black plastic onto the table. I, again, as you do. If you're insane. I mean, we're all insane. So I guess as you do is accurate. And then my other roommate. It uh, felt uh, like I ended up having to clean it up whilst the other one was because because that uh, that roommate was the king of oh I'll, cl I'll clean it up later but, uh, on a Friday and then left first thing Saturday morning because they were one of the people that went home every week and our, our house second year was very inter had a very interesting dynamic of there was five of us two of them would go home every weekend so there was three of us so there was only over three of us at the weekend. One of, like, we all slept really weird hours at the best of times. And, yeah, we ended up just having the weirdest, like, hangout sessions and watching random crap on television and talking about random shit, which is why that, which, honestly, I had a lot of time in all three of the years in uni. Not gonna lie, maybe not so much the uni work itself, but the actual, like, I, I went into halls, even though I'm not that far. I live, there is a bus that goes from where I live to the uni I go, went to. I chose to stay on campus for the simple fact that, well, stay near the uni, so for the simple fact that I needed to, to get more social, I, I am still really socially awkward, but I needed to force myself out of the bubble a bit, you know, meet new people, try and create connections and stuff, and I very much did that, <laughs> and I am very much grateful for everything that's happened, and I miss, like, there's a lot of people that I live with, that I used to live with, that I kind of miss, that, sec that house in second year. Especially because that was probably one of the best experiences of my life. That was hilarious and a hell of a good time. So those, if any of those people are wa watching, hi. Hope to catch up at some point. Well, that's it for today's video. Like that, that was the last day on the list. I don't think I've missed anything. I never did. What? Well, whatever. Like I've, I've done. I've, I've done like eighty plus of these. I think now it's getting up there, right? Something like that. I have to check. I want to have to make a note when day a hundred is, so I can make a signif no, you know, note of significance that we've made a hundred days into the year. But we're not there yet, I don't think. 
If you want to be there when we do get there, please do subscribe, join the flock. It's a flock of sheep, just to clarify that, uh, if you're new. <laughs> and if you are new, go catch up. It's a whole series. One of the links at the end of the video will always be to that series. At least within the series, the link will always be to that series. Because uh, it's, it's a thing. <laughs> it's a thing, and I'm doing it, and I'm doing it for a full year. I kind of want to promote it within itself just in case one of them pops up in your feed and you're wondering what the hell this is. You can go see the whole, th you can watch this episode and go, oh, there's a link to a the playlist of the video, playlist of the thing. I can go and get caught up and watch all the, the madness that this is. Share this video, share all this or any of the other videos on this channel. It is greatly appreciated, as is all the comments and interactions and such, because without you sharing it and you interacting and stuff, Google doesn't pay attention. Google is not good at its job at presenting new content and presenting people to other people, which is its sole purpose, so I don't know why it even, it's even bothering me at this point, because it's really bad at it. Because it, it tries to get robots to do it, and that doesn't work. So, be better than those robots and share this video so I can actually get eyes on it. Or again, if you don't think this is a video worth sharing, go over to the other ones, and I'm sure you'll find one in there that you think someone else you know will like, even if you don't like them. I'm sure there's someone that you know that will. It's just getting this out there because Google and YouTube doesn't put this out there enough. And, as always, embrace the chaos. Chaos is the way life is in general, especially now, but in general as well. Help change the world. Let's make this place better. It's not a lot we can do now, but, you know, actually following the quarantine stuff and how social distancing and everything because that that is saving lives that is changing the world for the better and i will see you tomorrow Ta -ra.